What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and Not Wars returns. And Not Wars, what we've been doing is taking two knots used for the same purpose and actually testing them. There are lots of videos out there, including my own videos, that show you how to tie these knots. But one of the things that's missing um, is testing these knots with exactly the same line, and exactly the same hook, or exactly the same uh, braid to fluorocarbon and actually testing them with a scale and figuring out which one is better. That is really important and one of the underlying themes is controlling the controllable. If you can control the controllable then you can become a better fisherman. There are lots of things that are out of our control like the weather and you're fishing for a wild animal uh, but the things that are within our control are controlling our tackle, using the best tackle, using the best knots for that job, and deciding on the right knots. And you do that off the water. You do that off the water, um, and you do it in a kind of scientific environment. You use the same um, line that you're going to use when you're fishing. You use the same hook that you're going to use when you're fishing, and you tie these knots hopefully several different times and you test them with a scale. I'm fortunate enough to have one of these. This is a Nextech uh, force tester. This is what we have been using on all of our knots and it's not that super special but what makes this an interesting tool to have uh, at my workbench is that um, if it were just a scale when I pull it a lot of scales don't record the maximum pressure when it uh, or maybe they'll it'll just flash a couple of times. So if you break it, it's real easy to not get an accurate thing unless you have someone there uh, holding the scale for you. And that's fine if you do. If you've got your, your son or your daughter or your friend or your fishing buddy can hold the scale and read it out, even then you don't actually sometimes get the exact measurement. What this will do is it will take the exact measurement of when it breaks. So for that reason, we're going to test two new knots today so that we can see which one uh, works the best. And I like to do this with knots that are similar. So in, in this knot wars, we've done things like an improved clinch versus a regular clinch. We've done things like uh, an Alberto knot, which is basically an Albright knot, an improved Albright knot versus an Albright knot. So um, and we figure out which one is stronger and sometimes they will surprise you. Today um, I was going through my Instagram and there is an account that I follow. It's a guy that has a podcast on Waypoint. You can check it out. His name is The Skiff Wanderer and The Skiff Wanderer has been doing these cool little videos where I guess it's stop motion. I don't know but he is interested in kind of the same thing that I am about it's just interesting that there are two knots that are very similar and people use them. In today's video, he's doing the uni knot, which is a very popular knot, up against the San Diego jam knot. And when you kind of see them side by side, you realize, wow, these video, these knots are very similar, but they have differences. And I wonder what, what I do is I wonder how that affects the actual strength of the knot and that's what's missing in a lot of these so this is a fantastic video and he's got a lot of different videos that you can go to and follow his Instagram uh, the skiff wanderer all one word and uh, listen to his podcast or, or whatever but his his knot videos are very good because they're just very very simple uh, stop motion shows how the line goes through there so you can learn how to tie the knots but what I wonder is which one of those knots is better and I'm sure that some of you are wondering the same thing so that's what we're doing here on um, not wars. And so today we have the uni knot versus the San Diego jam knot. And if you're familiar with the San Diego jam knot, I learned it from a bass fisherman, Miles Berghoff, who learned it out there in California. Uh, apparently that's a, a really good knot. And it's basically a variation of the uni knot, a little different, but go to the, go to the skiff wanderer. You can see exactly how to tie it. And then we're going to determine which is the best, which one's the strongest. So they're both used to tie the line to the lure and the line to the hook, whatever. Uh, with the San Diego jam knot, you pull it all the way down to the hook, kind of like a clinch knot. So what we're doing is you can do the same thing with a uh, uni knot, or you can leave a loop with a uni knot. I went ahead today. We have tied both of these knots and tied them down snug to the hook. Okay. Lots of people tie the uni knot like that. 
some people leave it with a with a loop either way but for today's purpose so that we can compare these knots accurately we have them both cinched right down to the hook tight okay we're using a gamakatsu 4 aught circle hook on both of these knots and we're using Daiwa fluorocarbon leader material in 15 pound and I have already tied the San Diego jam knot that's that one right there and we have the uni knot we're going to put them on the force tester and find out which one's the strongest so same exact hook same exact line and here we go with which one is going to be stronger hope it doesn't hit me in the eye okay 15 pound line it broke at 14.43 pounds that is the uni knot okay uni knot knot that a lot of people know and love and are we going to be super disappointed in the uni knot or super impressed with the san diego jam knot which one will win i don't know that's why we're doing this who knows Okay, so 15 pound line again, that the uni knot broke at 14.43 pounds, and let's see what the San Diego jam knot breaks at. Felt stronger, I don't know, 14.06. 14.06, so, oh, look at all the pigtails and stuff that came off of that. Okay, so what that tells me is that you're using 15 pound line, and the knot from the line to the lure is breaking at less than a pound lighter than the, the line so 15 pound line both knots pretty strong almost a hundred percent so if you're using 15 pound line and you know it breaks at 14 you know high 14s that's a good knot that both of those knots are good they're very strong uh, today the uni knot just outdid the San Diego jam knot by 0.3 pounds, 0.3 something pounds. I'm not really good at math, but 14.43 uh, versus 14.06, and that is why this next tech force tester is something that I really like because even now it's still registering 14.06. So if I forgot, I can look at it, I can put it down, I can pick it up. It's still there. 14.06. So 14.06 for the San Diego Jam Knot, 14.43 for the Uni Knot. Today, the Uni Knot wins. Boom, yes. So if you're a Uni Knot fan, you win. If you're a San Diego Jam Knot fan, I don't know, maybe did I tie it wrong? Do your own, uh, do your own research and determine whether it is um, a better knot than the Uni Knot. But for today, on this scale, with this line, the uni knot comes out just a little ahead. Both knots are very good, by the way. So, anyway, that's it for today. Knot wars. Uni knot wins again. See ya.